The stream is pretty damn good when you're tilted. I think it's probably more fun to you <laughs> than to me. Uh, I want to quickly check out the comment section of today's video, guys. Because today's video was a little bit late with the processing. I'm always a little concerned that, like, I don't know, there's something bad in there, or like I've accidentally forgotten to edit out a part of the video or whatever. This happens all the time, guys. Sometimes I have to do an intro for a video like 17 times because I can't get it right. What I've got for you today, what I've got for you today, what I've got for you today is a, what I've got for you today is a best of three, a best of three, <laughs> I just spent like 10 minutes. Trying to get the first goddamn minute of the video. <laughs> it take for some reason, man, I can't get into a flow sometimes. And it that's that's generally what yeah, that's generally what happens. So I'm always a little afraid I forget to edit that out and make myself look really foolish. Although it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I could just release a blooper reel. That's true. I think basically everybody who makes videos does that where you like like once you get going once you get past the intro It's very smooth sailing for me But It's a little bit different. Yeah Imagine saying messing up saying hello and then at some point right you've kind of like crafted the perfect intro to the video in your head but then for some reason it doesn't roll off the tongue or like the intonations are wrong. I don't know. If, if, if I don't like it, I don't do it. Um, so I just, yeah, redo the first minute again. We all have this problem, Loco, but with girls. Don't do that to girls, dude. What I've got for you today. What, what I've, don't do that to her. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, this has been a thing I've had ever since I first started making videos. I like to assume that everybody has this problem, but maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um... Ba -ba -ba. Hello, buddy! A great weapon calls for a great... I have got a new bustle. Don't I? Hmm. Apparently not. I really like the idea of having the umbrella as a fighting weapon. For some reason, that just... Is this weapon actually good? Like, I can't use it with my current build, but the fact that you can run an umbrella as a weapon is really funny to me. I like my current weapon quite a bit, but... I don't think it's a meme weapon. It's got A-level scaling for technique. So the scaling here, you see that on technique, is actually very high. This is B, C, B, C, C, B. This one has A level scaling for technique. I feel like it's probably, probably pretty sick. I don't know. So I guess I didn't technically kill the brothers. So I didn't get a, a Giga Chat soul for them. Ah, I did not get a Giga soul for them. That's it. Okay. Well, anyways, I'll just use up all of this shit. You're running it right now, you're running technique and dexterity. Yeah, I killed one of the brothers, but not the other dudes. I don't know what would have happened if, that, if I sent this guy to the factory. I told him that the hotel was a safe place, but I could have easily sent him out to the factory, I guess. He would probably just be in a different location. I hope. Welcome, Dad. Oh, these are just infinite. I see. What is the point of this? I guess I'll buy one. A bright red apple. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. A bright red apple. 
It doesn't say anything. All right, anyways, let's play the music. I have got this new thing called Someday. Somebody wants... Wait, no. Chalamet's theme. Timothy Steen. Oh my god, what the heck? I also got this thing, the Acidic Crystal Spear Blade. So, Acidic damage was good against humans? Maybe I should have used it in the previous fight. The Holy Sword seems pretty nice, though. I know my the music in this game is really neat. I, I'm impressed. I kind of feel like this game came seemingly out of nowhere and just made it, yeah, really good. You think I should use the axe? I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to swap weapons often. I, I'm not sure. So I can. So a really cool feature of this game is that you can mix and match weapons. So this determines the fable arts that it's got for one of the two fable arts that it has. So in this particular, in this particular case, the one I just showed you, Storm Slash. It also determines the different attack types and whatnot. So it's got a couple different options, but you can switch it onto another handle. So any of the handles can be used and it changes the attack scaling. And the entire game seems to be entirely different then. So I don't know what to run. Um, I'm running currently one of the boss weapons, which cannot be modified, but the fact that you can modify is really cool. Legion arm modification part. I don't really use my Legion arm as often as I probably should. Am I showing off my French? Uh, will we? The Ergo is whispering? What? Je m'appelle Simon. J'ai une très grosse bite. See? My French is amazing, dude. This is another one of the songs we found. Um... Leakage current. Continuously small sparks from the hand inflict damage while charging electric bliss. Increases the maximum level of overcharge. I do kind of like this weapon. I just don't know how good it is to commit to this weapon. So I can spend my Legion calibers on it, but is that worth, you think? Thank you very much, Lil Kuwait! Gifting us up to Never Ever. For those of you that have played this game, which of the uh, side arms do you like the most? I haven't found all of them. I only have three right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to have more, I don't know. You like the puppet string? Really? The Ages is my favorite, says Mick Funky Nasty. I think Takuan is saying the same thing. Which one's that? The Ages, I guess? 
The Aegis arm can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deals damage to the enemy. So I can craft it if I want to. <sighs> yeah. A legion arm that can block enemies. Can make weapon attacks while guarding? Oh, dude, that's big. Can make weapon attacks while guarding. So I can just keep the arm up until they strike me back. When the fable slot remains, you can parry by pressing the fable button. While performing a guard counter, charge for a more powerful attack. Okay, I guess we'll give this one a try. I'm not really using my offhand very much, so I guess I should... Like, my current one is good, but the problem is that it's only good against... Um... Against uh, other puppets. Like, it deals specifically well with other puppets, but I don't know if I like that too much. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, the Aegis is probably good against everything. I kind of like having, like, all-round weapons. Oh, it just makes it all very heavy. Um, that's a problem. Should I be spending my, my points on having additional carry? I guess I should, right? I, um... I haven't put any points in being able to carry additional stuff. I always find it kind of... wasteful, but... I don't think I should think of it like that. Like, I haven't put any points in capacity. Yeah. I think this is probably a good idea. So I don't know what the cutoff point is for heavy. I'm currently at 80%. I guess it's 80%, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if I want to run a build like this, I think it's pretty nice. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I'm gonna continue for a little bit longer. About another 15 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna be heading off, guys. Having a great time in this game, though. Really fun. I think tomorrow we'll do a little bit of StarCraft 2 first. And then some more of this later. Okay, it does make me very slow, though. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can do here? So we killed one of the brothers. I think the other brothers will probably be... Oh, are they the ones that put up that thing at the start of the game? Maybe. The other brothers will probably be facing off against me pretty soon. Found a ledger. Seal of 10 Ergo complete. I like our old broker man because he always play, uh, pays well. But when he's in a hurry, it's hard to secure the Ergo he needs. The alchemists are asking for more gold coin fruit, okay. Acquired five ergo is real close to the end of selling corpses. Think about the expedition in the barn swamp, okay. There's a chest. This seems to be their hideout or something. Hey, there's a quartz. Very nice. Uh, I should definitely go back. And spend that. But I just got here. I think the area we just saw is the new place we need to go to. Stalker masks? Why did the stalkers start wearing animal masks? According to the city historians, it was customary to wear animal masks in ancient Krat. It was one of the rituals to show off one's life when one fought the legendary rock type. Believe it or not, but this legend is an inspiration to today's stalkers. It's not just for defense and fashion, but also for the ranks that show off one's abilities. The link between rank and animal masks isn't clear, but mostly the powerful ones choose their preferred mask first. 
In these troubled times of the petrification disease, how about refreshing your mind with an energetic stalker mask? Choose a soul animal to your liking. Ooh, dude. What kind of stalker mask do you think I should be wearing if I could make a pick of an animal mask? This is a dangerous question. A donkey? Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sorta. From a certain angle. You know, if you squint. Do you think no, I would I'm be a... a I'm yeah? No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? Portrait of a boy. The... It does look like me. Right? You think I would look like a donkey? Like this? I look like an ass. Mm -mm -mm. A hedgehog? Aw, oh, dude, I saw the hedgehogs again last night. They're very cute, dude. The hedgehogs are becoming uh, more and more chill. Like, the first, the first nights that I fed them, as soon as they hurt anything that was out of place, so if I made any sort of noise or if I opened the door or whatever, they would run away and not return for like 30, 45 minutes. Yesterday, fucking hedgehog number one was just sitting like this close to the door. I opened the door, he takes like 10 steps away, I throw something in the bin outside, I don't see him anymore. Go back in, 30 seconds later, the guy's back out. This is all within like two weeks time. He's like, oh yeah, no, it's kind of scary, but like not that scary. Uh, I guess I'll run away a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm back to eating food. Yeah, they learned fast. I have accidentally domesticated my hedgehogs, I think. You're not allowed to keep hedgehogs as a pet in the Netherlands, but... Yeah. Sounds pretty nice. Yeah, sounds pretty cool though. I already, um, I already got a hedgehog house. Yeah, I built them a hedgehog house a couple of, well, a couple of weeks ago. Last week, actually. Um, should I flex with my hedgehog house? It's a nice hedgehog house, dude. I put too much effort into this shit. There it is. <laughs> they are not living in it. <laughs> I put it outside. I filled it up with leaves. They don't give a shit so far. I hope that they will. Yeah, I gotta fill it up with more leaves, I think. Put some leaves on the outside too. Make some food and whatnot. Yeah. Or put some food inside. Yeah, I need to make like piles and stuff. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't have enough leaves. I need to get some. I hope that they move in at some point, though. That'd be pretty cool. The door is definitely big enough, yeah. I should put sticks in as well? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, lower legion consumption in a crisis? Reduces stamina consumption from dash. Lowers weapon durability consumption. Lowers stamina consumption when discharged. Increases consumable. Special grindstone effect increase. Lower ergo loss upon death. Enhanced fable catalyst. No, I don't like any of those. I think this one. Reduces stamina consumption from dash. Okay. So that also unlocks add amulet slot one. Increases the number of amulet equipable slots. That's huge, dude. Really good. So I can now add a third passive bonus. So this one is equipable without being in trouble. This one's too heavy. Increases damage inflicted on puppets. This one just increases the amount of life. I guess we'll go with this one, I guess. Cool. Extra little bit of life. Eh. You can see the little chunk right there. That's like a level. Maybe two levels. Not bad. What's going on, Skull? Hello, hello. Oh, I need to go talk to a bunch of people here. Um... 
Who do I need to talk to? I think the first one is Geppetto, and then I have to talk to a bald dude. Are you the bald dude? Are you bald? Dude, you're pretty bald. House of Anini, even priceless things have a price. A pretty bald robot, dude. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Bald gang, rise up. Can you grow out your hair like this, Domir Cats? Like this is, there's bald and then there's this. This is kind of stylish, I'm not gonna lie. You could grow it out like this. I don't think you should. Nah, I don't think you should. Only when it looks perfect would it look really cool. For the most part, if you grow it out like that, it would probably, uh, yeah, it would probably nothing be the best look. No. Oh, I've got this thing. Oh dear. This is the mark of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, a notorious band of stalkers. The stalkers as a unified force ceased to be after their defeat at the Battle of the Workshop Tower. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood took over the Marlon District after that. I believe you could use this mark to move safely whilst on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's turf. Oh! To use their unsophisticated vernacular and give you entree to the black market as well. Really? But be careful, sir. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood is quite infamous for how they treat interlopers. If they catch you, they'll put you in the liar's coffin. Yes, I believe it is as unpleasant as it sounds. Ah, and I see we have new physical records to catalogue for the collection. Such effort deserves commensurate reward, don't you think? Can I... What did you give me, dude? Oh, a crescent moonstone? Okay. So this guy sells all of these things. I can sell him other consumables of mine too. Alright, cool. You think I would look cool if I was bald? I don't know, dude. Don't think I'll be going bald anytime soon, but... I'll just shave it all off, man. My forehead is pretty bald. Yeah, I've got a big forehead, but I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think my hairline's gotten any anywhere. I've always just had a big forehead. <laughs> You're back. But I've got this painting. Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture. We can focus elsewhere. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The king of puppets lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end. You should talk you to me or look at me while you're key. talking to me, mate. Go to Antonia and get the key to Rosa Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send so Yeah, you so keep close. saying that, bro. You keep saying you care about me, but then you send me into these dangers. This portrait. He does look like Mengsk. Yeah, he's like, bro, I care so much, my precious little puppet. I hope you'll always be a little innocent boy. Now murder the whole city. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood had The fuck do you want, Geppetto? To think that you... Hey, what's up, Thort? You have brought it back to me. Forgive a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. Yeah. I know just where to hang it in the hotel. Oh, I got a new emote called Clap. I got the Clap. I mean, no, Clap. I mean, I've got Clap. Uh, how did I do that again? Time for a little bit of clapping. You cannot use this right now. I don't know what I was going to use it for in the first place, but... The Look good, dude. Ask me any okay. -da 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 -da. Uh, 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 uh. All right, guys. I think that about sums it up. I think this is a perfect moment to end it all. For today. We made a good bit of progress, though. I think I did all of chapter 4 and 5? Maybe not all of 4. No, actually not the case. Um, I think I was over here. 
Yeah, I was here at the start of today's stream. And then we did all of this. Hey, there's still somebody we need to talk to. The old lady? I put a painting up on the wall. Hurry up. I heard from Geppetto. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous, I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there. But if we want to stop this disaster once and for all, I fear we've no choice. I'm an ass. You and I, I am. care about you very much. I want I'd ass. Stay safe. For both of us. I feel like my time is slowly coming to an end. However, it's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for you. That someone cares. Please take care out there. The Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. But there was still something more. So this leads to the door that like... Hold up, I'm gonna do a quick little run around of this final area that I've just unlocked. I don't know if there's anything more over here, but there was like an elevator type of thing, right? Maybe the rest of those brothers are like an optional boss fight or something, and the rest of the game continues with me opening the gate? Ah. It's almost 8 p.m. over here, yeah. I usually head off at 8. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just as I joined. Sorry, man. I'll be back again tomorrow, though. 2 p.m. I usually stream 2 to 8 p.m. Local time. Thor gets here and now Loco leaves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Thor, he might gift some subs. Quick, leave so he can't. Rush, Loco, rush. <laughs> Save the man some money. <laughs> loco time? No, no, no. Well, it's loco time and local time. Local, loco time. Okay, where does this go? I'm curious. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, it goes up. I thought it would go down. Where's this then? You have no idea how happy I am to see you, Mr. Stalker. Oh, it's the dude with the blue hair. Hello. It's a relief to see you. Hey, dude. I I'll get straight to the point. I found the gold coin tree. You did? Who knew it was right beside us? But there's a problem. When I this guy needed the fruit. To, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. He's sus, dude. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close Don't trust yet this so dude at all. far. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. This guy definitely sparkles in the sunlight. I, I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold. I ignored it. Yeah. Uh, interact with the Saint Tess statue at the Grand Exhibition. You might be able to use the other powers. How to gain fruit? I, I might look urbane now, but I. You I look used very to be urbane. That's like the first I'm word that I thought of when I saw you, man. Growing trees. Urbane. I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. Okay. That was very urbane indeed, dude. That might be Willy Wonka. Well, the thing is, that might be Willy Wonka, but I heard that Timothy Chalet is gonna be playing the next Willy Wonka. So I'm not sure exactly how this works, man. It's all very strange. We have multiple Willy Wonkas in one room? That makes no sense. So, is this the tree? I think it might be. Is this what happens when you put a dollar in the ground? Expected to see the what? gold coin tree in a place like this. You can harvest gold coin fruit at set times. The fruit is used in several different places. Use boosters to speed up its growth. What? 
This fruit that resembles gold holds miracles and is thus a precious wonder drug. Okay. So this is where the Brotherhood had set up its base? Uh, this door just opened? Weird. I don't know what to do with this shit. I just know that it was important. It's the Laurelin. All oh, my homies love the Laurelin. It's the Golden Tree in Valinor. Oh! I love it whenever that sort of thing happens, man. Like, it feels like the whole world is connected and somehow, some way, it's tied back in over here. So this does mean that the bunny dudes can just wander into the hotel. Is that a problem at all? Don't think so. The tree in Valinor was all about the money. That's the only thing I cared about. Okay, uh, so that means that next stream I'm gonna open the gate. Even though I don't really know exactly where the gate is. But I'm gonna open the gate and we'll continue onwards. Gamers, welcome back. This is what the uh, music is like in Hotel Krat. It's a beautiful place. Nice hat, Loco. Thanks. I'm an ass. With one eye. And coffee. I haven't actually finished my coffee yet. I haven't even started my coffee yet. Ay, ay, ay. I like to imagine Loco buying a kebab each month just from my five dollars. That's it, Rentanox. That is it. I, uh, I go to the store, I'm like, give me my Rentanox, is what I say. And, uh, the kebab store owner knows what's up, man. Thank you very much for 39 months, I appreciate you. Loco, I'm visiting Amsterdam from the US. It is a culture shock. Like, in a good way? People traveling from all over the world to go see Amsterdam, which is always kind of funny. Because it's like pretty close to where I live. It's pretty neat. A lot of tourists though. Welcome to the country of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is one of my personal favorite countries. Really lovely place. Hey, what is that resource right above my head? Oh, that's the new thing I just unlocked, I guess, with that tree? Um... I think the tree is up here, no? Oh, no, 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 it's down below. It's down below. I don't quite understand the tree mechanic at this point in the game. So I have a new resource that I've just unlocked. Where was the tree at again? Was it over here? No. Uh, we found a secret door. Was it upstairs or downstairs? I'm thinking it was actually upstairs. Is it over here around the corner? I don't even know! The people are so nice to you? In Amsterdam? Nice. Amsterdam is kind of neat. Is this the way? Or is this where I needed the key? Yeah, this is where I needed the key. So this is the way to the next area of the game that I have to go to. I'm scared. I want to go find the tree first. So I unlocked that at the very end of yesterday's stream. And it all tied back in together. But now I don't know where it is. <laughs> where did the tree go? Over here? Ah, there it is. The Lost Flower Garden. The next fruit is ripe in five minutes. I don't quite understand what this mechanic of the game is. I guess we should go here every once in a while. So it can hold eight fruits. So I think every like hour and a half or so you're getting like a full harvest. I don't know. You've been to Amsterdam once and somebody stole your socks? Dude, that socks. Okay, we're going this way. So this is the way forward. I have come across this uh, door a couple times already. But I didn't have the key. Luckily I now have one though. 
This is called outside. Those are like dogs. They're called sheep. You can shear them for their wool and then make clothes out of them. Do you guys know that? It's insane. You could probably make socks out of them, actually. There's like water and a tree. That's amazing, dude. This is called uh, sunset, I think. Yeah, beautiful, man. All right. Well, my dude, oh, is walking out of the frame. That was it, guys. That was it. Hmm. Why was the sun sad? No, 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 sunset. It was not sad. Oh yeah, I got this new shield. Anyways, the Rosa Isabel Street. What a lovely place. Do you think this will be an area? Rosa Isabel Street. Yeah. Entertainment district. Yeah. You might call it extravagant. Yeah. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24-7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red I want to go. Oh, I want to go see her. She was the most famous of them all. The legendary prima donna. Dude, let's mm -hmm. go see her. I'm not sure if she's still alive, so while the past tense makes sense, it's... Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. Don't tell Laurent about that, Loco. She loves the red-dressed prima donna, I'm sure. I've already forgotten her name, but she's a huge fan. Hey, what's up, Thort? Hello, hello. Thort, how do you feel about red-dressed prima donnas? Hey, I can repair this thing. Okay, nice. So this is another fast travel point. All right, um, so I think this is chapter six. Yeah. These are called Roman numerals, guys. Welcome to my education. I don't know. The character just told me about a red dressed singer or something or a dancer or something. I figured you want to go with me, but she might be dead. She's yeah. You know what? This is a person wearing it. She, she might be right here in front of me, actually. Loco, you have a huge sword. I know. I'm compensating for my tiny wiener. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the final performance of Adelina, the greatest prima donna. Experience their passionate stories. Yo, I want to go experience some passionate stories. Okay. Do you think I can solve my problems with a sword in this area? I think I can probably solve a lot of problems with a grand sword. Hey guys. All right. I noticed by the way in the VOD that the game volume was a little loud. Not super loud, nothing too crazy, but if you guys think the game audio is a little too loud, please let me know. Can a sword get you laid? In this game? Probably not. Because my character does not seem to be getting married anytime soon. And we all know that sex before marriage is illegal. You go straight to hell, dude. That's how it goes. I think we're gonna settle on six. There you go. I don't know where we are, though. I mean, I know where we are, but I don't remember where we're going. But sometimes the only way is forward. Hey. These people use candles as... Like, like candle sticks as, as, as a weapon. Sorry, what? I heard that! I heard somebody singing. What's up, Alakdar? Hello, everyone. Hello, ever. Hello. I did that intro actually in today's video. Yeah, I did it. Does hell have decent Wi Fi? I hope so. Yeah, maybe. 
I don't know if I want to go to hell if there's no decent Wi-Fi. I kind of enjoy going to the sauna and stuff, so like, the, I feel like the temperature is gonna be kind of chill, but like... Is that the prima donna, you think? You think it's dial-up internet? Oh no. That truly means it is hell. Hello? Hell? Oh? Sorry. Uh, who are you? Oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. Why do you have your window open? Demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Mm. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a, there's a wine called La Blaiwi. When I was younger, they called it the Ruby of the Heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Bring it to me and I'll give you something nice in return. Okay. The Witch's Tower and Princess Poster. Okay. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the comedy praised by audience and critics alike. The Estella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale. It's the last work of the best writer of Cret. The last performance of the Ret actress Adelina Corday. The greatest adventures of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess await you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. I mean, this looks like a lovely place to, to be, man. That old lady has got a bit of a cough, but she wants to get drunk and then she wants to give me something for it? I mean, I'm kind of hyped. She wants a bit of a tipple. Maybe she's not, uh, maybe she's not dead. I think it's up there. I wonder if this next place is gonna be like a, a hotel or something that we have to explore. That'd be kind of cool. Loco doing new game plus seven? Yeah, yeah. Zero hit run two. The uh, HP missing in my action or my health bar right now is uh, full damage. That doesn't count, that doesn't count. <sighs> You don't know? Guys, can somebody give me a short rundown of the story of the game I just started watching? Um, honestly, it's a little confusing, but not quite as confusing as Bloodborne. So there's been this disease that's been running through the town that turned everybody into, uh, dead. And... There's this guy called Geppetto, who made a whole bunch of puppets, including my own dude. And the puppets are getting a little aggressive. That's about all you need to know. You hate it whenever people turn into the dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm trying to not turn into dead myself for a long time to come. But maybe I will at some point, you know. The odds are pretty big that I will. Yeah, my dad keeps telling me that he loves me, aka Geppetto. And then he sends me out on these, like, missions where... I am very likely to die. He's like, you're a good boy, you never lie, blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, yo, bro, go fetch me the corpse of this person. And just murder everybody on your way there. I'm like, okay, dad. Anything for you, dad. It's really, yeah, the lies of P, lies of Papa. That might be it, dude. Puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete beings in comparison. Creation's more perfect than their creator. The creator who created them. Which would you praise more? Wow. Geppetto indeed. Fodder of the year. Hey. I don't think I can open these, no. There's a lot of those doors that I can't open. What is this? Whoa, 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 what the hell, man? Was that a Baneling lady? 
Ah, oh, jeez. Banelings are getting nerfed next patch. Do you think this is your, these are the new patch ones or the old ones? A sharp pipe. Lovely. Geppetto has a number one dad mug. He probably does, but does he have a loco mug from loco.shop rumble? That's all that really matters. Let's be real here for a second. You can get your loco mug as well over at www.loco.shop. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you can. I'm just saying you can, Grimdy. I'm just saying words, man. Am I a sellout? Maybe a little bit. A grade A sellout? I would like to think of myself as a mug salesman instead. I would drink out of my mug today, but it's in the wash. So, uh... I did not. Don't I sell more than mugs? I also sell Twitch Prime. Prime Gaming. What is this then? New, new enemy types. This guy looks awesome. Oh shit. Um, I have an amulet that allows me to do bonus damage against puppets. Don't I? Yeah. I'm at 79% weight. Slightly heavy, perfect. Because these are all puppets. Let's do it on a bicycle. They're like toy, toy, sh <laughs> toy soldiers. Toy soldiers. There you go, Loco. You did it. Well done. Oh, I got, a new, I got my new thing. I haven't used my new weapon yet. Toy shoulders. Ah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's different enemy types in this game. Yesterday we had to fight a bunch of humans as well. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. What the heck? Ah! When did I even take all that damage? What the heck? I didn't realize it was that low. Whoa. Oh! I didn't see it, Aramay. Yeah, next will be an army of squirrels or something. I don't know. What's up, bunny? My zero hat run, how's it going? It's going really well. Thank you for asking. Yo, man with gun is OP. Or puppet with gun, actually. Come over here, bud. Oh, no. Not a fan of how this is going here. Guns are kind of OP, yeah. Okay. Ow. Ow! You son of a... You're son of a Geppetto. Who's also my dad. Who's my mom? If I'm a puppet, who's my mom? Okay. I thought I was being really smart here by running around like that. And it turns out I'm dumb. There's no mom. Geppetto just worked the wood. Oh. So is the wood my mom? You guys are not really making anything clear. Can I open this somehow? I feel like there's a shortcut here somewhere. Because I dropped down that ladder, but I don't know where... Hmm. Ah. Hey, guys. I think this is the shortcut. No! <laughs> oh, no. If I see one keg W in the chat. Banned from the channel right away. No second chances. Right away. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just be running back. I got killed by a lady with a broom. Yeah. Why are you guys making fun of me? Do you guys think ladies with brooms can't kill you? 
Wow, Chet. You think you're so much better than a lady with a broom? Wow, Chet. Wow, Chet. Oh shit, no, I forgot about them. There's another one. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck. No. <laughs> I just got killed by a beanling. I guess it had plus two melee. With plus two melee, it'll... It'll... Uh, so that's the first time I think I double died. Okay. I think most of my souls are now gone. Not everything, but... Yeah. Minus five HP too, man. Insane. Do you guys see that the... Vice President... At Xbox? Made comments about the StarCraft universe? Do you guys see this? This was apparently last night at some sort of conference. There's a lot of copium again going on in the StarCraft universe now. I mean, the StarCraft people in general love the copium and the hopium and everything in between. Let me pull up the video real quick. Uh, I posted about it on Twitter. Yeah, they admitted to StarCraft's existence. That's a step forward, precisely. Corporate Vice President of Xbox said this about first StarCraft party. yesterday. The first party title or a third party's title. Is there any series or game that you want to see have a revival? You go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, not me so much, but especially since I've been here this week, a lot of fans and I've had a lot Low of people ask me in interviews. Ryan! Thank you for the reset. Love you, dude. A lot of fans and I've had a lot of people ask me in interviews about StarCraft. So, she acknowledges the existence of StarCraft, Chet. That's all. That was the whole video, basically. Oh, uh, I know a lot of you want that, which is what's most important. <laughs> so, uh, it'll be fun to see if that's something. That we StarCraft 3 confirmed, dude. There it is. Yeah. She said the word StarCraft. That's it, man.